and people who need to continue fighting for our rights, our lives, because sadly that's just how he is, because we have Donald Trump as our president. But the time is now, and we need as many people on board as we can more than ever. And Trump's presidency may break apart communities, but that's, the, that's only that will only happen if we let that happen. Because this is a time when we need to gather together and unite with one another. Because unity is peace. Unity is power. And what I see happening to my community beyond unity is liberation. I see my people building each other up, empowering their own identities, standing up for what they fucking believe in. Because that's what youth power is all about. And, <laughs> and I just wanted to put it out there that although we can't count on a superhero to win our fights, make change, save the day, we can count on ourselves. Because it starts with you, and most importantly, it starts with all of us. And to my fellow out, uh, to my fellow youth out there who wants to be a part of the resistance, see resistance and rebellion as as hope. See it as a huge opportunity to have your voice be heard. Because I want to see y'all coming out, going to more direct actions like these. Because right now, this right here, this is family. This is love. This is unity. And this is what we need right now in the next four years. And the reason why I personally march, the reason why I come out to events like these and speak my mind, is because I'm, a, I'm trying to be a representative of all the LGBTQ plus young women of color who can't be out here tonight. I'm here to represent. Yeah.